All right. Uh, let me see. Let me see. We are alive. Uh, 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 da, 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 da. <laughs> One more day here. One second. Let me check uh, that everything is all right. I just. Um, I think my my microphone might be too soft. Could it be? Let me see. I'm gonna raise the microphone in here. Is it not gonna be? Is it gonna be picking or not? One second. Let me check. Maybe there is speaking a little bit. Uh, um, my guitar is too loud and my voice is too soft. Is that? Well, let's see. Let's see if um, if you guys hear it distorted. You you let me know. <laughs> All right. I just uh, these days I, I kind of fix maybe some things of this um, streaming software and stuff. So hopefully we get uh, better and better as we go. Or that's the plan. <laughs> to make it every time more stable. Ah, sorry, I was actually starting to warm up and the timer is on. Hoo -yoo -yoo -yoo. <laughs> One second, let me reset it back to... Okay. And then we will put... Well, let's make the, the time batches of... Whoops. One second. I think I'm messing here a little bit. Sorry with the cameras. Um... Let's make batches of 15 minutes and it keeps changing my camera one second because of the shortcuts. Interesting, very interesting. <laughs> Jeez, one moment. <gasps> okay, now it's reset. It. Okay, the timer is now 15 minutes and the camera is the right camera. Okay, we are there. We are there. <laughs> oh my, sorry. I think today my. My head is it's more in the music than in technology. <laughs> Let's uh, see who we have. We have Minai Kemani who says, Hi, hello, nice to see you here. Uniquely extra. Hmm, your, uh, your name sounds, sounds uh, already very familiar. <laughs> it is early for me to wake up, but to wake up with you is very pleasant. <laughs> nice. Yeah, which time is it in your place? If If you're in... In the States, it will be yeah, indeed very, very early. Um, so, we, well, we have also Angel B who says hello and also Barry. Hello, guys. And Chutli Fudli, <laughs> thank you for this live stream. Marcia. You're very, very welcome. My pleasure. I mean, you know, I don't know how, uh, how we didn't think to do that before, actually, because let's see, let's say that I have been practicing for many years already. <laughs> so, um, Wonders of technology. Um, okay, and we have also Evil666 who says good morning. Nice to see you here. Um, all right. So I was just um, getting my fingers a little bit warmed up. Uh, Unicorn says it's just past 7 a.m. Not bad, not bad. A good wake up time indeed, but fairly, fairly early, really. <laughs> Earlier than that, it should be a crime. <laughs> Lee Noak uh, says hi from Australia. Nice. Wow. Australia. I have several students from Australia. Lovely place. I wish one day I can visit this Australia, really. And so I suppose uh, Americans will probably have not started to practice yet. You better not because <laughs> it's so early. But here for me is about uh, midday, so I already did some good am amount of work hours and um, usually I like to, to do in the morning all this, you know, email, uh, academy things, you know, administrative works and to be done. Otherwise, like the email <clears throat> um, kind of persecutes me like a ghost behind me, like you need to answer this and that. <laughs> And then now somehow I have the peace of mind to, to practice a bit, practice for a few hours. And, and then actually I need to prepare a, a lecture I will be giving in Belgium next week. So it's going to be very interesting, but I need to start putting all the ideas I have in my head like down in some organized way. Also because I'm a master to condense a lot of information in too short time. And so I need to make sure that I don't freak out everybody. <laughs> uh, 
and that is everything like easy to understand and follow and and yeah so I'm kind of actually looking forward to that I think it's one of the first let's say live events in like a long long time so well anyways actually I should start considering these also like live events in a way but everything that happens in in my studio is like home events <laughs> to me um, all right so as you can see here in the score I was warming up a little bit I just you know to see if my nails were long or too long or not which they are on the verge to be excessively excessively long but I'll let it be like this because I plan to practice good this next day so I will kind of finish the week probably with the third less of the nails that I have right now so I would like to start you know with just a, a little bit of a, a warm-up um, I will be taking some etudes um, I like very much to start let's say to wake up the right hand with the etude that you see here <laughs> I'm getting used because I have the, the the score right in this corner to me but the score you see is in here so it's uh, from Coste um, Napoleon Coste uh, is the etude number 23 um, and it has this very constant arpeggio which I usually start to begin with with index middle because it's you know the easiest and to wake up the hand is uh, very good for you know always start slowly and easy to avoid any stress or injuries also because when you start your practice with something that is how to say it eases you into the into your technique you can work a little bit the long term of um, developing a very very relaxed right hand and I was uh, I was just playing a bit and I was like oh my god my right hand feels so smooth so that's um, actually what I want to feel when I'm starting to practice and then I I do it twice and then I do it with the M and A because that's a lot let's say harder combination and this tenses up a little bit the hem um, but um, so, so doing it in a slow enough tempo then it um, should, uh, how to say, put things in order without tension. Um, uniquely Extra says, do you put something on your nails to prevent them from breaking? No, well, I, I only use some nail protector, which, do I have it in here? Something, you know, like this um, transparent um, protectors, like that. Only when I practice things like Turina, where you, you know, need to have this kind of strum and effects like this because then I don't want to wear off the top of the nail too much and get it too thin because then it's very likely to break I have rather strong nails really so I it's unlikely that they break really oh we have Tom in here in the chat welcome Tom um, is a member of our channel. Oh my God, you're you're the best. Good morning from the USA. Can stay longer to work. Have a great session. Good morning. I wish you a great uh, day at work. And remember, drive safely. <laughs> and I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Take care, Tom. And all right, we also have Arthur Marquez from Portugal. Nice, wonderful. Thank you. Hi, thanks for making the video. I learned a lot from your videos. Nice, wonderful. Um, I'll be hopefully making some more YouTube videos. Hopefully very soon. As I told you guys, I'm, st I'm still very busy in developing some things on the of the website and the academy, some features for my for my students. <laughs> bye bye, Tom. Take care. Um, so I'm still like all my free time that should go to the producing like the tutorials I bring in the channel it's dedicated to that and it's taking a bit too long also because I'm not a developer and I need to kind of half learn all this and I'm kind of um I have to say I'm very I've been learning very much but I'm not a developer so I'm just taking some time to you know to hire also some people to work everything out but once all this is done once all this is done it's gonna come back and i have i'm just preparing so many things for you guys so in the meantime we will do these streams and anyways they probably don't need to go away these streams when i start to to make the um, the youtube um 
tutorials, so why not? I mean, we can always practice in community. <laughs> Anyways, come. Um, enough chit chat. Um, I'll start uh, warming up a little bit here, so you can see, guys, um, how I use this study, and um, and yeah, get your guitars if you can, but not at all because you may not drive and practice guitar, please. <laughs> and um, and yeah, I'll I'll see you in uh, 15 minutes, and let me know if the sound is is all right, if um, if it's too s loud or breaking, just uh, let me know. But so so far from, from here I think it's it's good alrighty so let's let's go here guitar practice yes so that we start <clears throat> okay so a little bit higher because of the when it's out of the case and you know there's the heater and everything the wood gets warmer and it goes higher in pitch so anyways um, I'll start slowly with the index middle several times several parts because this um, the fact is all in 16th it really helps to kind of wake up a little bit the 
the changes, the brain, and, and just, you know, the coordination overall. You can see that in the beginning of practicing, it's always a little bit all over the place, right? So, for instance, there is like one part here, actually here. I don't need the second page. I can show you the bigger screen. Can I? Yes. Like this. Uh, the ending part. Oh my god, one second. Mm -hmm. Here, I can show you. It's kind of a change that every time I start practicing from the beat, from nothing, it's uh, always a bit like sketchy. Um, is it? I think it's speaking a little bit. softer let's see times and, and then I'll go to the M and A It's when I do the same thing, but with M and A. You will see. Um, Arthur is here. Hello from Stormy and L. Yes, <laughs> it's such an ugly weather. I just have the window closed, so I just don't even want to see it. <laughs> Welcome to the chat. I'm here trying to wake up my hands. So if um, you're not at work, feel free to, to join in with some short practice session. Well, actually not short, <laughs> not necessarily short. So let's do now the M and A. playing the M A fairly loud 
my god, I lost it. It's very heavy. It's um, sadly uh, at work, so I can't stay long either. Have a wonderful practice session. Nice. So enjoy the work, Arthur, and uh, <laughs> hopefully it's not too stressy today. Uh, I mean, I said you deserve so many more subscribers. Yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> hopefully we will grow the channel. Uh, let's see. Let's see. <coughs> um, all right. I'll give uh, uh, some other passes to. You can see that. It feels heavy in the beginning, but once you do like a couple of times, let me pass the ending first. Once you do a couple of times, the um, fingers kind of relax. Um. Ah, my M is so long actually. Contraction in the right hand here. That's why I keep passing that for a little bit. Here contracts down to the bases. And again. So one more time. I feel my fingers so scratchy. Blah. We got uh, well, what is it? What's it? New subscriber, Rocky Dog. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> You guys hear also the sound of the uh, in the, of the notification, or it's just on my end? Because I'm still kind of figuring out all those things. <laughs> Let me know in the chat. <laughs> nice <laughs> really cool okay good that you can fear me um let's make the last minute well let, last minute let's pass from from there when it from yes from the com combat
it's time. I think actually I need to unmute the notifications of this bell in here. All right, all right, all right. Um, let's start the break timer. And um, of course, that's not by far, let's say, the all the warm up I'm gonna do. Um, I still need to do quite a bit more. And um, but as we chat, one second, let me just file my M nail because like it is, I feel like here it's so long, like it's just not good. So <laughs> let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see what the, what's going on in the chat. Um, we hear it, we hear it. How do you <laughs> nice, we can hear it too. Uh, Jen Pichel. Hi, Marcel. Wolf here. Nice. Hello, Wolf. Uh, what time do you usually start? I'm always late. Uh, are you in Holland? Yes, I am in the, in the Netherlands. And uh, I say in the Netherlands because officially like Holland is like the upper part and I'm like really on the very, very south part. <laughs> So let's be correct politically. <laughs> um, but uh, I don't have a starting time really. I just tar I try to squeeze these um, these live streams um, w as when I can. Um, usually I prefer to start a little bit later because I know that many of you guys are um, from yeah the states and stuff. But later I have uh, some meetings and some appointments and I have like. As I was saying to the guys before, I have also to prepare like a conference I'm giving next week. And um, I wanted to actually have the nice moment of practice before. Uh, like this, I have it done and then I can, how to say, feel good about, about myself and and do a bit of this um, writing later on. And then I can always have some extra practice. But if I do the other way around, if I first work and everything and then I try to practice, then what always happens, and I guess I'm not alone in here, you probably guys can can tell, is um, that you arrive, you know, late in the night, you're very tired, you're exhausted from everything, like your brain is drained, and then you still have to practice. And then it's like things, well, you know, they work, but um, definitely not as efficiently. And if you have very intense days, then it's a bit of a waste of time. So I always try as much as I can, <coughs> um, do the practice first and at least the, I call it, um, how to say, the survival practice first. So what is essential for me to do, at least to have some, you know, run time. And then later I can always squeeze some extra time. So that, all that, all that to answer, like, no, I don't have a schedule. It's now like two o'clock in the um, midday. Like I have so, such a random schedule that I don't even have like regular eat times so like I eat when I can every day like sometimes I eat in the midday sometimes many times I don't <laughs> so the only time that I'm sure like I eat is sometime in the afternoon evening but it's never the same time always so you can imagine <laughs> it's a little bit difficult for me to program some sort of schedule um Lee Noak says looks like a good workout of for both hands. Yeah, it is a very very useful um etude really actually. Um it's an etude that um I was given when I was um kind of starting, you know. Um when I got my the the teacher that I had before I moved to the Netherlands to study. He is one of the etudes that he gave me and I was like over overwhelmed, like, oh my god, so many notes. But um, since then, I always kept playing it and there is, you know, you don't have a piece that is always M-A-M-A. -A -A. It's, you know, there is not such a thing in the repertoire for so long. So it's like you really get to practice, you know, very, you know, concrete um, things. And it's very, very helpful, really. Still now, like, I, yeah, I do it every every time. And there is always, always room for improvement and things, you know, that, um, yeah, to to get better really uh, um, then uh, sound, uh, the sound is very good okay perfect perfect the sound today it's it's good so we will leave it to to that um, this will help me to meet a spur your time <laughs> yeah this is difficult you can just now I, I put on the channel that um, upcoming live streams and it's right at the beginning so whenever I, I'll try to program the live streams at least some hours before, so you can, 
uh, check if there is something programmed and then you can just you know say, I think it's say set the reminder or something like that and then it it will notify you when 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 I start the stream so that I will try to do to to put the, the stream a little bit ahead of time um, India 85 says hello Marcel have a good practice I wish she music was uh, more widely um, yeah, it just um, actually the the point is really not that you need to uh, guys to practice the uh, uh, sorry to to read the sheet music, also because sometimes I practice with scores that are you know like published by other people and stuff and um, I don't want like to how to say to damage in any way their their work and their copyright and stuff. I yet wanna show you guys what I'm practicing so that you can more or less follow and have like an idea of you know what's going on in written but um, yeah so this for instance is copyright free but I cannot be changing <laughs> all this all these things in the in the screen all the time so I think um, if I need to zoom in I can always zoom in like that so but not the whole score I feel a little bit like I need I want to respect you know other um, transcribers and people who publish this course I mean I bought them but I don't want them then people can just you know copy them all in the internet and and I don't want to feel responsible for that <laughs> even if many many are all right in the internet um, Vinny says I have pain on my back uh, of my on the back of my right hand especially the wrist joint sometimes the pinky side of the hand can you guide me where uh where i could be wrong i don't play the segovia way with the wrist tilted um it does you don't need to play the segovia way to to get pain really um she says it's been a month and no matter how much i rest the pain doesn't go away um well if it doesn't go away maybe you should uh, really check it sometimes you uh, maybe you have something that uh, it could be seen in an x-ray otherwise um let's say when you have pain in, in muscles like this or this can you know this kind of situations um try to do some massage of, of press uh, pressing slowly and um to how to say to rest your hand for instance what i do when i have like tough um, practice sessions um put the hand in hot as hot as you can and as cold, uh, hot, uh, cold as you can in intervals so that your muscles let's say they say that it's a very good way to relax and i think many musicians we do that when we have some you know heavy hand work um during practice sessions or concerts um so intervals of uh, cold very cold and very hot uh, water that would be a thing and then maybe i don't know if you have um if that doesn't go away you can also try using this um tiger balm to relax when you go to sleep it's this very smelly kind of um cream or eventually some voltaren but if it doesn't go away in too long i'm not a doctor so i would probably check um yeah have it checked just in case um so Matt says, your live stream setup is so professional. Love it. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, Matt. Uh, Akis Aries, what is your goal? My goal in what? <laughs> I have many goals. <laughs> yeah, let me know in what do you mean exactly. Arvin uh, Reike says, it's very pleasure to see you live. Thank you. <laughs> it's very pleasurable to have you guys in here. Um, um, Wolf says, no worries, Marce, uh, no pressure, I get it. Now it's 739, it's Singapore, Malaysia now. Singapore, wow, cool. Um, India85 um, says, thank you for the answer, Miss Marce, you're <laughs> welcome. Emil, I love your work, ethic, your sound is wonderful as well as your playing. Thank you very much, you're so kind always. Um, Uberman says, you compose music? Uh, no, I don't compose music, I, I wish I, I could have time for that. But uh, unfortunately, I don't. Not yet. <laughs> Maybe in the future. I'll let you know. <laughs> Composer Bell just joining. Hi, Marcel. Hello, Christopher. Um, uh, Nikos Argy says, any tips for strong nails? Um, if you have weak nails, a diet, it's a very, very important thing to take care. Have a balanced diet because nails and hairs are the first thing that the body gets, you know, kind of rid of in a way or um, puts in a, in, a, in a side for... Um, to maintain the other things so if um, having a good balanced diet is very very important 
if you do have a good balanced diet, then to reinforce nails depends on if you have them very brittle so that they can break and stuff. Some people use treatments with oil, even like garlic and stuff. They do work. The garlic one is a bit stinky, but <laughs> they do work. Otherwise, they are, uh, let's say in the pharmacy, they also sell pencils to to heal, let's say, and improve the vit- uh, vitality, vitality of the nails, let's say, of, of the, yeah, the state of your nails. And and then there are some products that um, they um, they strengthen a little bit the nails. Is there's like a transparent polish that they say that they strengthen, and some of them they do work. I think one it's called Microcell, and that one I have heard many guitar players that they say it's it works for them. That makes the the nail a little bit stronger. Um, and Benjamin, uh, we love uh, we love you, Marcel. Thank you. I love you guys too. <laughs> You're so sweet. Um, all right, Vico. Hello. You play ever electric guitar? I did in the past, but I no longer play electric guitar. It's unfortunately too much music, too many things to do in this world. I have, don't have time to play it anymore. I just enjoy some other players. Anyways, uh, let's continue with uh, practicing. Um, let's go a little bit with some Villalobos runs. So, let's see. Starting, and let's go 15 minutes more. And I'm pretty sure after that I might feel I need to shorten my nails. says I love the way you play classic guitar and your <laughs> glasses <laughs> I gl- love my glasses <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. problems to be blind <laughs> I am 18 years old and I am thinking to start to start playing guitar any advice um, if you're thinking to start guitar just mm-hmm. get a guitar and play 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 have fun and if you really 
feel like after a while like it's really your thing then get lessons or you know go to conservatory or something and just make it happen there are many guitar players that started late and they made great great things um how long do you practice this video was etude um woof this etude i have known it for for quite a while it's and now i just keep it to to warm up so yeah it's um uh, I, I probably i don't know really many 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 years um but as you can tell i don't go fast like uh, i don't like to play it fast because this is not uh play through it's more for building up let's say precision and technique let's say i'll do another second in and oh my god i think it's all out of tune The second also, the, like this group of Villalobos etudes, really, they are so useful because they are, they tackle different techniques, different configurations, really, and, and they are very complete, uh, really. So I really like to keep them in, in my warm-up program, let's say. Also, one of the studies I like to pass several, several, several times um, to get very smooth in the one voice playing. It's very stiff in the beginning.
transition there. It's um, <laughs> something. <laughs> like why <clears throat> practicing these fingerings with thumb and another finger like uh, index thumb or middle thumb it's very useful for because when you transition um, like a scale like this instead of bring all your hand back and then having to change which is very difficult and high speed if you do then you're already positioned and you're so much closer. So um, if you don't practice scales with these fingerings, maybe you, sh you, you should. Yeah, it's a lot smoother, at least for me, it, it really is. But I know people that they never practice that and they feel very uncomfortable, so you need to practice it a bit and, and uh, yeah, get used to it. I start this fingering. actually practicing some viola was at you let, let me know here in the chat um Eliana says uh, hi from madagascar <laughs> no time to watch right now no worries you can watch later thank you for your answer eric Tapa says hi, can, how long hi can i know how long have you been playing guitar maybe now about 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 um 15 14 years, 15 years, maybe something like that, could be. Mm. The transition is... Uh, Oh my god. Hello, Edson. Welcome to our pre uh, guitar practice corner. Thank you. 
For this kind of fast pieces, one needs to keep, let's say, the left hand alert, but not heavy. And if you pull too hard, then it just goes really away. So there's kind of a sweet spot of tension and strength. But you have to ring throughout. so much fun with this uh, with this one actually I still want to practice then the part of the of the bar which trains really the the bar grip okay let's put the relax five minutes resting hands actually with the streams is such a healthy way to practice always with a bit of a of a break and everything <laughs> all right Actually, let me just check here one second because um, I think the, the member widget here on this part of the screen, uh, you cannot see me in a moment, like I don't think it's uh, exactly working. I have the feeling. <laughs> let me check very quickly. Mm -mm, in here. Wow, we are actually one subscriber away from this week's goal. You guys, that's amazing. That's pretty amazing. So, okay, let me see. Mm -hmm, let me... Is it... Well, need to check that with with more time, I think. Um, oh, let me let me try something in in here. Uh, um. <laughs> No, I cannot. I don't. I cannot find. You see, guys, that there is the new member thing, and it should be showing an, an, some name, um, but it's not. And I have the slight feeling that it just simply not supported yet. So, mm -mm, what we can do, maybe, one second, one second, did I just find it? No, I, I don't think so. No, I didn't, it's not this. Uh, nothing, I'll just leave it for something later to fix. There's always some small things to fix. Oh my god, <laughs> why? <laughs> um, I'm checking it here. My last option. No, no idea. Have no idea. So I will probably end up taking it away. Um, says Matt, are you planning to keep doing streams like this? <laughs> I'm really enjoying them. Yes, of course, of course, we can continue that. Absolutely, that's uh, I have lots of fun. So if you guys have like it, and hopefully you're also practicing with me, <laughs> and yeah, absolutely, we can continue that. Oh my god, I didn't realize that my my hairs are like really weird today. 
that's see that's pure reality of me practicing at home <laughs> uh, Oscar Benitez hola uh, buenos buenas buenos días de Puerto Rico nice greetings to Puerto Rico Evil says dear Marcel you should write a piece of music for Steve Vai I'm sh- for Steve Vai I'm sure he would <laughs> pay you handsomely oh my god I think yeah, Steve Vai has really his language. He found really his style a long time ago, and uh, is really really interesting. His last uh, last songs really. So I think he should stick doing what he's doing because he's really really good at it. And uh, yeah, <laughs> cool but funny idea though. Um, all right, so that's something I'll take care of later. Really. Um, now I will practice a little bit the part of the arpeggios and most likely later I will need to really shorten my nails because that's not very helpful. Arthur, greetings from Armenia. Hello Arthur, welcome to the chat. Welcome, welcome. Um, and there we have time to start next practice session so i'll continue here with via lobos number two which i was just thinking maybe i should put you can see the title in here (laughs) but maybe i should indeed put the title somewhere in the um, in the screen so the new let's say newcomers can see uh, what we are doing all right, so let's continue from second part. to add like a slur that actually is not that is not there so there's a little bit of more hand work my right hand uh, where am I different rhythms just to work the synchronization of the hands that's a very common way to practice because it gives you less time for some of the changes to move and I prepare the fingers ahead of time speed can go smoother see it's a lot smoother already so it's very very helpful but and the quicker you can make them these rhythmizations more you get to synchronize the hands. See? And the fourth needs to really move there. But when the hand is in tension, It's not so easy to move that fast. That's why I'm trying to make them really, really quick, the, these 16 notes. Uh, 
bar, let's say, type of warm-up. <laughs> so you can recycle the same type of etude for, for several things. To, to be spicy, <laughs> really spicy for the hand. <laughs> wow. And then the one here. Contracting the second is a for relatively small hands, it's uh, always, always a thing. Stream is helping, uh, um, helping me to keep entertained during my boring admin tasks. Thank you. Wonderful. <laughs> See here, we strive in community. <laughs> nice math. But I feel you. I also have boring admin tasks. Eventually, <laughs> I already done them. I like to have them out of my way. Oh my God! This. Is very very tiring. <laughs> Case of a say is perfect. I am working on this etude at the moment, and they are yes, they are concert etudes. So yes, they are difficult indeed. trying to well, let me take away the watch that in here is actually very it's kind of annoying me a little bit um this one what i'm trying to really work in is in this smoothness of uh, like butter smooth transitions from one to the other and it, it just needs to be worked slowly slowly so i need to educate the fingers to to go there like fairly easy and quickly so that in speed everything can be you know smoother and this if I put it too high then it's difficult to reach a second it needs to be this is hard for me because you need to just add a lot of pressure to get that that note and after practicing the bar for like quite a bit, like you can see, my finger is like, or And when you're tired, uh, to get rid of this buzzing, it's uh, like the worst ever. see that the, the transition from bar to non-bar it's um, it's also not so easy somehow from here when I get to this core uh, to this arpeggio um, it's for some reason I am the most tired and it's the heaviest one coming from the all the bar chords that you know we have before it's somewhat weird um, let me see let's let's take from from before Yeah, 
Hi, sorry. Here. How you see that this so it's like <laughs> somehow it's like you come out of the bar chord and the, the first singer is so rock solid and like blocked and it's um it's very hard to to get this third line of this of the of this page so i'm like here about here <laughs> Try again this part. That's what I mean by finger fitness, you know, that's in the plan to get back, you know, my finger fitness, which has been a little bit off this last um, month. And um, this is what I do to try to get it back. And now, for instance, I really feel like um, here, like all the tiredness, it's not tension. You see, like <laughs> the veins start to come out a little bit. It's just like, um, yeah, work, really work. Um, Jayu says, uh, thank you for the video, learn uh, some and I'm so glad, nice, I'm happy you learned, of course, that's great. Evil <laughs> says, I have faith in your talent, thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> we'll see. Um, Vico says, is there some p uh, some more PDF that you are, uh, uh, what are you playing? I would love to test that myself. Yes, if you put um, Via Lobos Etudes. Um, you will get all the 12 etudes in Google. There are like like a million PDFs already there. So yes, you can find it uh, online for sure. Um, Yvonne from Canada. Nice. Welcome back. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, Unique Lex, I love your setup to see the right uh, and left hand at the same time. Yes, it's cool, right? That's also what I use for teaching and it's so convenient instead of having to, you know, like my camera is like, this main camera is quite far away. It's like on top of the screen. And so it's very handy also for teaching. So, um, Jada says, Mercy, can you teach how to read music uh, sheet of guitar? No tablature, please make a tutorial or a guide. Um, yes, I have plans to make some tutorial on this or and some maybe more extended uh, version for how to read music. But the concept is really simple and you will see that it takes a lot of... Uh, practice just on your own there is really no big secret it's just it's quite straightforward but yes i will do something 100 percent sure so no worries just it will be in the channel sometime um i'm chatting too much but also too i'm <laughs> allowing my hand to rest so maybe we will not be we will not make such a big break um later <laughs> Um, that name when 
Look, I'll write here in the chat. One second, one second. I'll write in the chat. Um, ch um, Google, Google. Um, Villa Lobos. Villa Lobos 12 at Judas. It Okay, I wrote down in the chat. Let me know if you find it. They are very easy to find because they're super popular and they are like a million uploads, so. and actually we'll finish the break and we continue practicing because of all the chat that I've been doing I need to behave and just practice <laughs> Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to uh, practice a little bit, let's say the part of these arpeggios uh, where on the way down there is always M, M, I and then start the next one and it's always like a little bit unclear so that's what I want to practice now also because I always naturally I put a, a slur, slur in here it is a lot easier in a way than to do it with the right hand, it's less synchronization. But if you can check the score, there is not such a slur. The slur is in the beginning. Um, um, sorry, where am I? And on the top. So um, I shouldn't be adding slurs just like just because I feel it that way. <laughs> just to make it simpler for me. So that's what I'm gonna try to do right now. So if I'm getting from the beginning, we will start from this, this um, second line, last bar. Christopher Bell says, have you performed concerts in London Wingmore Theatre? No, no, not yet, <laughs> not yet, <laughs> actually. Uh, no, I've never played in, in London really, so it's, um, I've been there for some master class and stuff, but not performed yet, so I had a lot of things uh, planned when, before the pandemic stroke, also be because I, I was, um, studying before and, uh, I had, like, I was, like, super, super busy, so in a way, like, many projects I didn't build until after so I was kind of planning like a lot of things um, for when I finished to study and uh, and then COVID came <laughs> I was like yay <laughs> thank you thank you for all the work I, I had all the programs ready and everything and uh, oh well Spam says aren't you supposed to practice not read the chat you're so right you're so very right thank you thank you dad <laughs> thank you for reminding me um so let's go here here no 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 so i'm taking from the last bar of the um, of the second line that you see in the score I want it clean. If you take the finger away a bit too early, then it sounds all kind of sloppy. So you 
have to work out really this butter smooth like movement. And the position of the bar also. Exactly. Kind of getting there, but not. I was missing some notes, I think. I need these notes. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> and after that, uh, we'll be doing some speed practice with the first page. If my left hand doesn't fall off before, I tell you that. <laughs> this part of the page up. Wait. Trick is one. Oops. Yes, hello. It just is not it's tricky but I have to say it's not tricky but it's difficult to make it really clear, equally clear like the rest. You see that it's kind of blurry in the middle? Better. Um. Max Mood says hi, hello, welcome to the chat. My hand, you're about to to experience my hand falling off <laughs> because it's <laughs> so tiring. This practice. I agree. Video on reading music. Shit is a good idea. I will certainly do that. I'm, I'm just thinking to make something really very good, you know, full-fledged thing, so that you can guys actually have something to really learn and just get you know, to read music. Um, so yeah, that's coming. Really, hundred percent, more than hundred percent. As soon as I can get to. As soon as I can get to to go back to filming and um, and everything, that's one of the things that will work for sure. So that's one. helpful in this kind of um, uh, arpeggios to think like the pressure goes from here then up and then back and down so not to put like the whole um, the whole bar and press all the time which is anyway starting enough now that I'm practicing for a while um, but that's how I try to do it see that I lift the finger here the, the, top, the top of the finger is, goes away And then it needs, of course, to land in the same. You're up. Um, what? Am I stone or what? One. Something like 
isso. Não. Tempting to go fast just because it's so much lighter to go fast. When you practice this slowly, it's like woo. <laughs> and then it says once uh, uh, late once again. YouTube always gave late notification. <gasps> What's going on with YouTube? <laughs> and YouTube always does random things with notifications. And by the way, I hope my pro haven't forgotten my request reading orientation on how to practice isna ola. <laughs> Good, we can check it later in the in the break actually. Let me see. Um. Four. Right now I feel musically like I'm lifting like a hundred kilograms or something. Like he runs better, but um, slowly, slowly he's a killer. <laughs> India says your thumbnail is so long. I know, but somehow because of my shape, the shape of my finger, if I don't have this long enough, um, then I would sound like this instead of like this. So now I have both choices. Um, Like it's the end of their page, yeah? That you need to keep really digging into the strings until the end. Mm. And here there is this cross, it's a very interesting one. what I need to have but ooh, it takes take lots of listening maybe what was that <laughs> if you hear sounds I think that's kind of maybe some neighbors hammering on the walls or something <laughs> unless it was my ba bone breaking <laughs> no, no, that's creepy <laughs> Enough from where it starts here. Wow. 
now it's so heavy. Oh, you know, like when you have um, how to say work like I don't know like run so much that then your your leg starts to like shake or or like you have lifted something so heavy and, and at some point like your your muscles like just say enough so that's what I'm trying to work in here now I'm trying to push the limit of uh, of the hand let's say the stamina by working all these uh, bar cords and everything and to reinforce a little bit the strength but has to be done carefully. Um, somehow, like I naturally like don't press um, too much, and at the point that it feels like you know to the limit, 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 then you just make a break. That's what I'm doing now. Um, but yeah, it needs to build up. Let's say the the grip, the the strength of grip. been here a while you can tell that it's already getting better faster and smoother uh so yes yeah, slowly, slowly getting my my finger fitness back yay 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 <laughs> and now we'll do like a like a proper rest because that is really something um let's see hey we are 49 subscribers from the goal to 50 oh my god we are one guy away one subscriber away <laughs> Cool. Um, let's see. I'll open up here the Isnaola method for our dear friend uh, 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 who was asking the other the other stream. Um, Edenic was asking the other stream about uh, left hand stretches. And um, let's see. I have here like a massive archive of scores, methods, methods, methods. Let me see if I find it. I think I should be able to find it. Isnaola. Ricardo Isnaola. Okay, let me close that here. Matt says, I dislocated my shoulder a while back, so I haven't been able to practice for a while, but picked my guitar up for the first time in ages the other day. So good to be able to play again. Wow, nice. I'm so happy to read that. Yes, just take it easy. Just don't be careful, don't, don't force your shoulder, but I'm happy that you got back. That's great. Great news. Um, Christopher says, could you show us the shape of neuronal, especially the thumb? I'll do now this in a, in a second. Let's go first to this Naola method thing. Then I'll show you because I really need to shorten them. I feel them too long. <laughs> Pardon me for being so personal. Oh, the nails is a big issue, guitar issue, so don't, don't worry. Um, uh, um, okay, and then Viku says, it's so nice to play... Uh, it's so nice to play, much harder than the Seti Ginopedi one. Oh, it's beautiful piece, but yeah, these these concert studies are, are something. Okay, um, here, Edenic, let's go to your request. And uh, let me see if I find them. I have here the, the PDF open, one second. Uh, I'm not putting it here because it's uh, in copyright, so I'll just um, be explaining <coughs> the... Some of the exercises that I see. Uh, let me see that. If I find a uh, double director for notes, um, level two, extension and contraction of the right hand, extension of the left hand, left hand slurs, okay. L extension of the left hand. So, let me put that a bit bigger, otherwise the notes, they look so, 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 so tiny, small. Um, okay, so, Isnaola proposes here to have, um, um, so to have this... of 
the left hand. Yeah, one second. Improve elasticity of. Ah, okay, it goes in in two fingers. goes like that and then um, he repeats this okay just different patterns of um, okay I see I see there are like different kind of scale sequence patterns where he proposes stretches of the three and four mm -hmm, I see Okay, and then there are left hand shifts. Mm, yeah, but there is, wait, there is not other ones. Mm. If Edenic is on the chat, let me know which, um, uh, which left hand, uh, let's say, exercises you um, were using. Um, here in, in the second volume, where, is, where he has these uh, left hand stretches. Let me go quickly on the first volume. Preparation for left hand slurs, left hand slurs, blah blah blah, double no, alternation, bar, page of three notes, positioning, basic positioning, um, no, the first, I think the first um, volume is uh, um, a lot more basic. Maybe let me just check the third. That was the second. Let me check the third. Maybe it has some bigger things. Otherwise, I can recommend you one thing I did that is, uh, I find the, uh, how to say, the, that has the most variety. Mm -mm, left hand slurs, because the reason I do the free PDFs most of the time is because I find that some methods go into the topic, but not entirely. So, okay, there is exercise number 46, left hand extension is a continuation. And uh, there he has, um, and okay, improve the elasticity, but it's only three four really. Um, yeah, I don't. I think um, maybe I could indicate you something better for for elasticity on the left hand, left hand shifts, and then level five. Uh, for some reason, he just insists on three four. I had the feeling that he did also have other other exercises though, if I'm not mistaken. Left hand extensions. Okay, exercise number six, uh, 65, he does indeed two and three. Okay, yeah. And he goes... And he does these kind of things. Um, yeah, I see the problem in here. I'm not very fond of elasticity exercises that start here. And uh, many, many methods, let's say later, they have um, started, let's say, kind of not trend, but um, uh, how to say useful approach to start higher in, in the fretboard when it's about elasticity training and then go lower and expand but he starts on the six in here and yeah he he goes all the way let's say up to the up to the e with these little you know kind of extensions and maybe that could be causing you problems so exercise 65 might be good but maybe not to start um so yeah i'll, I'll give you something look i'll give you something that hopefully can help you a little bit. Um, let me let me get here. How is it? Um, one moment. I'll show you. I'll show you this bit in here. Um, where is it? Oh, I I didn't even start the timer. Wonderful. Mm, okay. One moment. Eh? I'm gonna check here for you something. And I will show you some exercises that maybe you could do. Um, 
and those who want to also expand the elasticity for the left hand um, feel free to to use that as well I think it's a it's a quite useful okay that is one thing Uh, flexibility um, mm -hmm. where is it scale slower stretching did I put in here oh yeah I have that okay I have several I've made in the past several um, tutorials on flexibility but if you can get yourself the flexibility to the crab fingerings um, and I call them crab fingerings because it just really trains this kind of opening and closing and um, here as you can see this the exercise starts there is also the tap for those who cannot read music um, starts let's say each combination so um, each fingering is a combination you start with the, the lowest one um, two and one and then you can do three and two and four and three and you simply start let's say from here and practice the, the opening and you go as low as you can if you cannot let's say reach in here then don't don't go there just stop before and then you just go back this is fairly this is because it's just one fret but for instance when you do with um, four um, four and three you always have the fret like this, to one fret opening. And in here, star is already to be something. See that you need to push the fourth up like this. And that will train only these two. And um, what I've saw the on the Isnola method. Um, very nice method but um, there's too many other combinations and things to talk uh, to, to think about and when it's about technique I like to isolate as much as I can the problems and this is a very simple way to do it you don't need to think of patterns because it's that simple it's just going up and down with the same exact combination and it allows you to focus a lot more on on controlling the hands then you'll see that this is exercise number one it's if uh, two frets stretch so you have one uh, two frets and then the arrival note right uh, and this is the beginner level but you have this also with three frets stretch so you, we start also with combinations with separate fingers not um, how to say um, yeah fingers that are together and <laughs> my vocabulary is gone and um, and you continue working the different let's say stretches in between your fingers and then later uh, three inter intermediate level there is everything again but instead of two frets here you start with three frets so that it's a lot bigger the stretch and that you can measure it a lot better yourself it can be the one and two you can easily reach like big distances but it can be that with 4.3 you don't reach as much so just uh, you can download this PDF for free and just write on it write let's say 3 and 4 I reached until fret whatever 4 one a combination 1 2 I reached until fret 2 um, and from there you build up I think maybe if you're thinking of doing some um, left hand flexibility I might go more in that direction, but always, always attention to not to get, um, how to say, pain, okay? So that's very, very important. Just feel the stretch, but you should not be feeling a constant pain in here. Just a little bit pull and then relax. Um, okay, so uh, uh, let's see. Um, I says, I hope your class goes well today. Thank you. Wish you a nice day, Evelyn. Thank you for joining the the chat. Um, okay, so that that is the thing. If um, 
um, how is he called now? Um, I lost it. Danik. So I hope that maybe um, will help you for the stretches. If you have any questions, feel free to to reach out. Um, about the about the nails. Let's see. I'm actually gonna shorten the nails. Um, who was uh, who was asking for the nails? Christopher. Yes. Um, he wanted to see the shape of the nails, especially of your thumb. You should not check this, the the shape of the nails from here or from here. You should always check the shape of the nail from this perspective, always, because that's the approach. Let's say what touches the strings. Now let me change here the the camera. Actually, let me put that at the big screen, right? So um, the the shape of the nails. You see that when I put the the file. It's completely flat, right? That's what you want, like a large surface leaving the strings. Also in the index. The index, I have it a little bit sideways because when I'm playing, the, I see that the index is a little bit curled in like that. So I have this ramp, but it's a straight ramp. I hope you can, you can see. And the same with the middle finger, when I put like this, it's straight, completely straight. And the same with the third. Now the only important thing when you make your nails is to decide whereas you make this angle, see that that would be different angle, a little bit closer or a little bit more like to see how which direction and that dictates the final shape that you see from the top. See that? Like actually for instance my thumb, I file it completely flat really, completely flat. You can tell by this part of the nail, but because of the the shape of my nail that is rather flat on here and it goes in let's say a lot more aggressively in the sides when i file like this then it comes up it comes this this shape that's what it is i'm not measuring how long is it in here and this end or the other that's just what it comes um now a good a good thing that you could do to file your nails let me actually now let uh, so yeah, a good thing that you could do to file your nails is to discover the right angle that you need. Because see, this one is in here, but if you see the index compared to the to the middle, it's um, different. You can tell, right? So I, I have it a little bit more sideways. So to to understand this kind of how the tilt of your of your of your ramp. I would recommend you that you use some sandpaper. I use for these kind of things like a thousand, so it's a little bit goes a little bit faster. And you just put it on the string, and then you just play, 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 like until you get this. Uh, to say, um, you you wear the, the nail a little bit off like that, and just play tremolo whatever it is, and you should see a little line. Let's see if I can. I'm not sure if I, that's gonna come across, let's say, in the camera because this is like a webcam and um, it's not such a high resolution. Let's see if um, you can appreciate that. It will be difficult though because my the angle of my of my nails is already what it should be. But if it's not, you should be uh, seeing something wearing off, like in a, a, a little bit oddly. And, and that is, let's say, your, your ramp direction. And as you play this, pay attention, that you play as you would play usually. You, don't, you shouldn't be like this, you shouldn't be like that. Because right now, this is how I would play repertoire, let's say. That's how I would play naturally. So you want to have the same position. Therefore, it's important. To develop a good um, a good body and hand position because then you can trust that um, so sorry for for the scratchy scratch that you are hearing but it's for a good cause let's see uh, it's not so so obvious really I think um, 
Well, let's suppose that you have been doing this and you start to see, let's say, the, the, the line. You should see, let, let's take the, the middle finger. You should see, uh, uh, does it focus? Focus, focus, focus. Yes. No. Go back and focus. Well, you should see like some part here wearing off a little bit and then that you need to to put the file. If if it's like this, then it's like that. If it's like a little bit like sideways like this, well, so make it like that. And then you just start to, to file flat. For instance, in my case, my case is really for the middle finger is really flat. So then what I would take like this and I would just sand, let's say, file the nail in that direction. And also because I already, I mean, I can't do that without doing this thing of the strings because I'm used to, and I see what I what I need. I know what the, the direction of of the nails that I need. But sometimes it's good just to make sure that you're on the on the right. You just do this process from zero. And then when you file it, the only thing that you should be taking care of is not to have here too much left over. Like for instance, this is my bad example always. See that this is little finger that it has so much here on the on this side. This actually sticks to the string like like really a lot. So you want to actually sand this ending here so that the ramp can start smooth, let's say and there is not like a hook or anything. And then you sand it, and but don't go all the way, just go a bit by bit. And then as you go, you should uh, hear it a little bit raspy, but the sound should get thicker. So let's take the raspiness away. One second. See, that's a lot um, thicker than than that, see? Because now I get with better proportion of the flesh and the nail. And of course I have the right angle. Now the reason why you want to have this straight line like this is because uh, this is the how much nail there is in contact when the string departs from the nail. So the very last contact. And if it's a little bit, if it's as long as, let's say, as big as you can make the surface, then the sound is gonna have a thicker thicker body which thicker for us means nicer rounder with more bass less squeaky and screamy that doesn't mean that if you want to have a very metallic uh, squeaky sound then you can always tilt your hand and make this effect but as your main voice may this main sound you want uh, a nice how to say powerful and big sound and you see that's a lot um, let's say shorter than before and my index is still far too long for what I needed so in my case because I'm so used to this I just will file following my shape Let me know, guys, if it's everything clear, let's say, for what I'm saying. Of course, what is very helpful is to have, like, a glass file. Really, it's super, like, they're so good. I used to have, like, so many of these files like this that you can buy even, like, the supermarket and stuff. But because they are soft, see, that they are a little bit, like, they're not hard. They're a lot less precise. And for something like guitar playing, you need to... To be able to, yeah, m make a straight line straight somehow. <laughs> so glass files are really, really, really good for that. But make sure you get something that is rather um, fine. Um, I see some people like using really thick abrasive files. And then it's when, let's say, the, the nail kind of breaks. And if you can tell, like the nail here is not breaking at all. Like it's not... They're not coming off, off chunks or anything. It's uh, 
a clean, let's say, clean sanding. So that's what you should look for in a, in a I mean, this, I have this, this file that it broke, but because it's so good and I really like it, I have it like for, I don't know how long, I, I just couldn't find another one that was like exactly the same type of roughness. And that for me is really kind of perfect, I don't know. So if you can't totally recommend it, get a glass file, you will spend like three bucks and it's gonna last you forever, unless you lose it. It really lasts very, very long. And the A finger is also so ridiculously long. So <coughs> let's, in the meantime, ask, answer some questions here. Wilbur Smith <laughs> says, what strings are you using? How often do you change them? I track our strings and they started to sound horrible and tiny compared to nylon after just two weeks. Interesting. Which brand did you, did you put of carbon? Um, I actually, these ones are carbon also. And, uh, but I use Knobloch now. I'm trying the different sets that they're making. They're actually bringing out some very cool stuff and um, I like them very much it's just that they're very old and the bases are a little bit dead to be honest um, they don't look dead because um, I don't have like a strong sweat or anything I can just tell a little bit here on the frets that is a little bit let's say worn off but um, but otherwise they just lose, let's say, after a while they, they of course lose sound, but these strings are on for like, I don't know, now over, no, more, more than two months, like I'm using them like since forever. Since I don't have concerts, like I'm just trying to preserve them. And, um, but yeah, I should change them eventually. So I'm using carbon, but before I used also, uh, the Dario sometimes um, but then before I moved to Knobloch I used a lot the Sabres, the Cantiga basses and sometimes a mix of the crystal uh, new crystal carbon strings for the first um, somehow my guitar if I put the nylon um, third string it sounds very deaf, I don't know um, some brands are not really not really sounding very good um, so I tend to put yeah carbon and then I like to get the warm sound from my hands let's say but yeah some people if um, they might take my guitar then it sounds very not very thick the sound it just it depends on how you grip really um, but the fact that they sound tiny and horrible in two weeks, I, I don't know why why that happens. Are you sure you were, were not your nails or something? Because, I mean, strings, like, get progressively more deaf in a way. They sound less bright and stuff, but, like, suddenly sounding horrible. I have never had that. Um... Here our friend says, how to make sure that we play tremolo perfectly or at least without mistakes? I mean, when I play tremolo, how can I know that it goes well? <laughs> well, music, you need to... You have never certainties that it's gonna uh, go everything perfect. But to know, if you want to know how, how a tremolo goes well, you could just listen the the evenness of the of the tremolo if you hear this then something is clearly not as good as it should be and just you can practice with metronome you can practice with rhythmizations um yeah just that you can have a smooth tremolo and then here whatever is around so the arpeggios the accompaniment make sure that you conduct the voice where it's in the, is on the tremolo or then if it goes on the accompaniment like sometimes it happens um then just um yeah find uh, the way to shift from one to the other and have more pressure on the tremolo when the melody is on the tremolo and less when the melody is on the accompaniment uh, on the accompaniment sorry on the bass uh on the thumb so yeah that's how one one can work on the tremolo 
Davin, hi Davin, nice to see you here. My middle fingernail broke today and I had to file it off. Oh, how do you, how do you practice in these situations? I just don't practice. I go in a corner of my room and I just cry. <laughs> um, well, if you had really, really, really to to sh uh, to sand it off completely, like you have not even like a little bit. If you have a little bit, well, just play with this little bit and 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 wait that it grows back. But if there is zero, zero, zero nail left, then what I do is I use this let me see i use these fake nails that you can just um put with this little double tape sticker and you make the shape and all of it and and then you just stick it on your finger and you're good to go until the nail regrows that's the only only thing i would do so we have also Sebastian Rajki here in the chat. Nice. I like to use the sandpaper to sand down a, f a new file to get it smoother. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, I don't know that. <laughs> uh, I didn't. I've never done this trick, so maybe that's something I could try in it. Um, Ivan um, Riguchi says, "Thank you for the advice about the fingernail mercy. It's working much better for me. Nice. Great. 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 So." I think when I learn about this, let's say this thing to put the uh, sandpaper on the strings and stuff, it really revealed a lot of what I should be doing with my nails. Because again, if I change my position from like this a little bit, that's already different. If uh, you play a little bit more in or a little bit more out, it's also different. So it's impossible for, for somebody to tell you exactly the shape that you should be having on your nails but you can indeed find it um, yourself like this quite accurately i would say well let's go um, i'll do the thumb later i'm tired of filing um sang eon park says what's the scale length of your guitar my hand is pretty small i'm thinking about uh, about buying a 64 millimeters one um Depends how is how big is your hand. I mean, my previous guitar was 64. This one is, ladies and gentlemen, 60. So six zero <laughs> centimeters or six zero zero millimeters. So it's a lot smaller, but it doesn't look smaller because I'm small. <laughs> so, but it it did um, take away four centimeters, which is like really like a lot. Like it's like a chunk like this, and for things like you know, stretches or first position, position, basic stuff, it was such a, you know, liberation. So, uh, what's the brand of that fake nail product? Uh, that was. Um, let me check here one moment. On I, I'll send you the website because they have a website where you can order. I think it's called Guitar Nails. Kit. I should ask them for sponsorship because <laughs> I use this this always and I always of course because I know them and I know it works well I keep recommending it <laughs> to all my students and everything um, so okay so I send you here the um, the link to their to their website I think that they are Italian could be but they have also the site in English so it should be no problem even though i don't know how lo how much will be the shipping and i'm not i'm not really sure that they have anything like amazon or anything like that there i think a let's say small private company um <laughs> you're welcome david um evil says you have to be careful sending sending frets with a file it's easy to mess them up I, uh, you, use a rule to measure oh no no we're not saying the frets i'm not sending the frets the frets actually whenever i need to replace them i will send my guitar to the my guitar maker so i think they're still quite okay not too worn off yeah so um, but we were saying about the the files the glass files too let's say sand it a little bit to make them smoother for better let's say more fine um, touch 
Um, okay. I mean, you can tell like the sandpaper I'm using is 12,000. If you feel like, see, it's like almost not rough at all. But for a guitar, when you use this, it just makes it so smooth. So, anyways, I just realized I'm extremely hungry. <laughs> so we can do a little bit more practice. A little bit better, a little bit less monstrosity going on on my nails. Thumb I can tolerate, a uh, longer thumb a lot easier. The other ones now feel a lot better. Anyways, um, let's see in here, one moment. Um, okay. We will do <laughs> very good. <laughs> Thumbs up. By the way, today I put the uh, ultra low latency in the chat, and you guys tell me if it's a lot more immediate because, of course, I answer as soon as I see your uh, to say um, your message, but you probably can feel how much delay there is today. I'm hoping that a lot less. I mean, that's the lowest setting of um, of latency I can put. David, uh, oh, they don't ship to my country. No, oh. Um, yeah, what could we do? We'll try to figure something out if you want. Um, <laughs> Let me think about it. Let's see if we can think about something here or how to maybe in the partners. Um, I know this is that they sell in the festivals in location. Oh, no, wait, um, check on the house. Uh, if you go to partners, check in house their music trekkel. I know they closed, they closed. Oh my God, they were like a really long, uh, to say, like a, a, a shop. Let me see. Guitar, nails, kit. Oh, there was no sound. Wonderful. I muted myself typing on the on the Google. Sorry. Sorry, sorry guys. I muted I muted my myself. Um Go to make a train or <laughs> Welcome back, Tom. <laughs> Welcome to the chat. We're still here stuck practicing. So, I'll get to to play a little bit of the fugue today. Um, let me see. I want actually to get a little bit past the, the other pages. So we can start. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, guys. I muted because I was searching this thing for Davin. If I could um, find a way to ship it to him or something. But I was saying maybe I can 
ship it to you or we can find a way to arrange it um but tapping this because i put the shortcuts you know here to <laughs> to activate easily the the microphone on and off um apparently it does both things i thought that when you're in the browser it didn't, it didn't toggle the, the shortcuts but it does so i will i might need to think something else different than a letter <laughs> All right, all right. Let's go then practice and we will do the fugue. Today I'm mode destroying my left hand. Enjoy your work, Matt. See you maybe later. Maybe tonight I do another one. I don't know. things on top or on the bottom here I feel it the other paper 4000 in between save my life please Let's go part by part already. I see it otherwise. There's no point. That's that was good. Yeah, that's good. I should do that. That's not good. to release and there is some happening with the thumb behind they really need to release completely the tension so that I, one can contract like um, smoothly because otherwise see that I kind of slide very heavily 
So this is one of the parts that you need to kind of give one moment of reset. But it's not easy because you have the fourth stretch very much and you need to reset just half of your hand. But if you do, then it comes nice. actually have this connection all this way down Fugue of the 998, yes. You're also practicing it, Tim? the prelude of it's really nice but the fugue is, is a challenge I think even more than the allegro it, just for me at, at least so good luck we can practice here we can struggle with the same thing mm -hmm. yeah let's see I'm coming from here. You see, I can't, I'm really, I really want to connect these voices, even though, like, you could do. But I don't like these cuts. I really, and in a few that there's so many, you know, things like th these moving parts. I like to to hear the continuation from one to the other. And so that's why all these stretches. Like simple things like this, for instance. Hold the bass until I get there, right? Instead of... I don't like this kind of cuts, so I'm trying to... I don't know, transform me into the a gum person and just stretch. Robin says, hi Marcia, no time, no practice time for me now. I already played like one hour and a half today on heart piece for muscles. <laughs> yes, before we were also doing like hard workouts with some Villalobos, so I feel you. Okay. Um, I'll insist a little bit on this bar. to give keep this Ooh. and it's a stretch without losing the first you know what I'm gonna put I don't and I like when there's a little bit more movement in here. So I'm just using this fast fret. Little tips to make back a little smoother. <laughs> then 
I don't like to get sticked on the strings and that fast fret helps. I really like the voice movement and I, it's nice when you can Robin says uh, that fugue's indeed pretty funny for stretches yeah that's the whole point I, I, I started it was because I want I wanted this challenge really jump position but I just don't like it but to get to this point of making this fugue sound like so flowy and easy and connected wow it's, it's crazy work it's crazy 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 work changed a lot of fingerings of the edition but to be sure to connect the voices but it made it harder to play of course yeah yeah same here actually I, um some streams ago i just was telling the guys the the same that i took the the hopstock edition just because there are no fingerings you can see that I, I i wrote all my own fingerings really and i don't like to follow like just fingerings blindly unless there is like a, a musical reason for me but yeah it's really so not a guitar, a four guitar, this piece. They should put a warning, like, be careful, that's not guitar friendly. says you cannot hear me I think the audio is good right I think it's okay the sound let me just double check here right yeah no the it's good the sound Servando Andrade says can you place the wax in your wax in your fingertips instead of the string this is not wax is um Fast fret. It's to make it a little bit more, let's say, um, it protects and it cleans the strings, it brightens the sound, it prolongs the life, and it gives this feeling of a little bit more, how to say, less sticky. How to so, so now I that I can I don't put it on my fingers. Also, I don't. Some people use Vaseline on their right hand nails. But then it piles up here like a huge load of product at the end of the day and I'm not fond of doing that. Like this fast fret is good enough for me.
30 seconds, 30 seconds. We have a new member. Evelyn is a new member of the channel. Wow. That's great. So you know that you can um, now join all our, let's say, streams that we will be doing tomorrow. Tomorrow we, we have, if you want to join, we do these uh, workouts where we kind of build up technique from the ground up. Yes, now, <laughs> now the timer finished. And um, so we do these workshops with all the, the patrons and um, with the exercises and everything. So if you if you like, feel free to to join. Um, they are private, but I believe you should see them um, now in the in the channel because it's only for for members. Um, so cool, cool. <laughs> That's really nice. <laughs> Nice surprise. Oh, by the way, you just you just made me see that that the widget here, it is indeed working. Yay! <laughs> you also saved me from some hours of investigating that thing. <laughs> That's so nice. Um Kosh uh, Naranik says what happens when your index finger on your picking hand is weak and thin but the rest are fine? Do you need to use your pinky in learning classical um, we don't use this finger the fourth finger much on usual repertoire because it's easy really to uh, to handle with the other fingers only some repertoire like I don't know Stephen Rugg and stuff that they can make um, some effects and tremolos and things like this they do explore the, that kind of thing otherwise only for resgueados and and such pieces you know like kind of the strumming and stuff like that so some people do practice a little bit you know scales and plucking with a fourth finger just to you know train a little bit the hand I have also done that myself um, but um, many people don't and they can play perfectly fine <laughs> let's say so and if when your index finger um, is weak let's say I don't know I don't know if you mean the sound if it's a sound well it's a nail issue but if it's weak from, um, how to say, the, the strumming itself, then just practice, to, uh, for instance, some scales and just putting an accent, so putting a lot of weight on the, on the index. I'll show you here in one moment. So just practice whatever scale and, and play really, really, uh, st let's say, strong plugging in here, just that you can develop a little bit more of uh, power then you can really hear this difference and the other one very very soft and that should help you to reinforce a little bit the power it, it is very normal to have one finger that is a bit weaker or shyer let's say in dynamics and you can balance them out and train them like this um, Virtuoso Drew says a nail breaker. I used to break nails occasionally, <laughs> especially my first, my index, so the first finger, when I started uh, taking collagen supplement powder uh, form. Okay, two times a day, morning and night. Haven't broken one nail again. Yeah, exactly. A collagen is a good um, nutrients for the hairs and the nails. So, um, theoretically, let's say for most of us who do not have like problems or like like a big issue uh, just with a good diet should be enough but if you do have let's say you, your body needs some reinforcement for some reason then it's actually great that you you take this yeah it's a mystery there was also like a um, classmate of mine in the conservatory who had very very shaky hands you know always and uh, he thought it was his problem for performing and stuff and eventually it ended up being like a um, problem of lack of magnesium so he the doctor said just take a couple you know i don't know for how long some supplements of magnesium and you should be fine he took them shaking was gone <laughs> so body is a mystery really huh? um so <laughs> Sounds good, hey <laughs> Joshua. The fingernail. Joshua Harney says the fingernail is weak, not the finger itself. Then if the fingernail is weak, <clears throat> um, use you could ask, let's say, in the pharmacy, to have some products. They sell some products to reinforce it. 
um, I think you could definitely do that. They, it's much better to use garlic and oil mix. <laughs> um, and they're like a pencil. You can, ju you just brush it like this and you let it soak in and you let it, you know, absorb the product. And usually this kind of treatment, this, they like, uh, they last for like a couple of weeks and then they should be strengthening your, your nails. I had this experience with students that had like kind of crooked nails or they had like strange, you know, happenings in the nail and they use those kind of things and it got really a lot better to the point that, that after some months they could easily play with their natural nails and it was all good and fine. So there is a solution for there is, there is a solution for that. No, don't worry. Uh, ask to to the pharmacy and I'm sure they can help you. Um uh, Robin says a bit of um, saturation when you put accent on the G. Yes, it's my my strong <laughs> index finger. <laughs> but not with practicing, so I guess no need to change. That was just because I was pointing out that you, you know, the accent in there. But yeah, I think when I play the whole piece, I'm not making these huge accents. So that should be fine. Anyways, let's do some 15 minutes more. And uh, let me take away the relax here because we are relaxing a lot today. <laughs> and let's do 15 minutes more. And then uh, I will just put the stream in like a, a small break. I will put this, I'll uh, be right back because i am so hungry like you can't believe it it's like <laughs> 3 30 now of the of afternoon for me and i haven't eaten since eight o'clock so maybe it's about time <laughs> um, evil says hi miss i'm happy to be a member and you're awesome i follow you on instagram follow you follow my twitter page and yes it's, you're very kind so i so appreciate your your support and and you know when you help me share the things that's uh, very 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 helpful so um, I'm excited actually if you can join the, the, the events and stuff just be my guest I will be happy to see you in the streams anyways let's um, start the last practice session here okay starting and now I'll move on Some things there that I think I just keep the whole section. Actually, put a little bit bigger for you guys can see better. Now we are doing. We will be doing from the first. Wow, my strings are so worn. It's crazy the scratching as I feel. Okay, we will take from the orange uh, bit. That you can see in the screen, these lines. Can you hear the scratchiness? It's like next to insane. Um. 
here I really need to I need to really make a very clear difference with the articulation short long resolution This has to be super clear. Um, Kosh says, how often do you do these practice sessions? Um, I would like to do them daily. Le would, uh, let's say almost every day. Except the day I teach very much. Or I have some stuff going on. So usually weekends are the toughest for me. But if I can, I try to do... Um, um, so I try to do as much as I can, so every every day, evening. You can see in my channel, uh, whenever I program, there is no schedule really. But I'll try to program hours ahead, so that if you go to the homepage of my channel, then you can find them there as a upcoming streams. Okay, um, so do you, so when, well, so you, <laughs> sorry Robin, so you went to practice being muted to reading the chat and comment, so, sorry, I don't understand the formulation, so when you, so when to practice being muted to reading chat, <laughs> I don't get what you mean Robin, <laughs> but yes, I'm practicing and reading, so you went so you went to practice being <laughs> your your English is adventurous, just me that I'm like stolen or something. <laughs> but yeah, I'm trying to get used to read and answer the the questions. It's multitasking. It's really hard to ignore you guys because it's fun to, to be here chatting with you. And also it's the whole point that we have somehow a two direction conversation despite the fact that you don't have microphone that would be funny if every all of you would be speaking on my ear right now <laughs> as I, I practice then I think I would slightly get nuts this uh, change of position here should be and but there is a change of yeah, it's so hard not to give it a, a punch in there it sh should be really smooth See you around. <laughs> bye bye. Um, let's get from here. with you awesome what are you practicing now
I'm now working a little bit more to get the flow and not to how to say not not to hear so much the technical um, difficulties and stretches. One second. My nose is running. So. you because I can play better than I side read oh wow amazing amazing that's really impressive <laughs> really really impressive that's also very good work for the memory what you do says I'm addicted to buying electric guitars <laughs> I know <laughs> I know the problem how many is too many well when you're in the street and you have no money for food then it's already far too many <laughs> but um, yeah it depends I don't know if you like to collect them you can have a lot of them I don't like to have too many guitars that I cannot play because I feel like they they how to say not that they get broken but over the over the years like if you don't play them you know the woods get a little bit dead but I mean electric guitar is maybe a little bit different they, they stand a lot better so yeah well, this is personal as long as your personal economy is not in trouble and you are fine and your family is fine I think you're if you can afford it go ahead and enjoy life amount of guitars you will have to simply just start touring and be like an amazing guitar player you know in concert and you can bring them all of them with you in tour <laughs> and play them all why not see you got a challenge I don't want to imagine how many pedals you have then if you have 15 guitars so nice to connect this bass but like progression look closing in on 20 <laughs> so you already have to sell some <laughs> Yeah, pedals can be also very addicting with all the sounds and colors.
of the right amp, so only two of those. Okay, which amp are you using? I found this. Uh, found that the, the amps tend to be all you need, so selling now is uh, the fun part. I got the one. <laughs> guitars do you have actually which guitars do you like um the most like which brands do you have yeah, only one brand or um yeah i'm curious actually to know which guitars you you like to buy or maybe a little bit of everything both fender is looking at all this but <laughs> gotta draw the line somewhere yes otherwise you never finish oh well ready for this <laughs> I'm very ready to read your question. <laughs> I have one. Uh, Christopher says I have one electric, one acoustic, and one classical. At the moment, I play only the classical, and it's the best to play solo when I'm not in a group. I also have my old electric guitar, my electro acoustic. You know the acoustics that you can plug, and um, and my classical guitar. Well, I have also two classical guitar, but somebody plays my other classical guitar. I kind of gave it to somebody, so he keeps it alive. <laughs> I'm addicted to SG. I've never played as SG guitars. Wow, it's time already. Chord. I know the chords. Chords I have tar I tried. A friend of mine you, he loves also chord guitars. Gibson SG, one star the tele, a Les Paul cost oh, okay. Les Paul Studios. Oh, Les Paul Studio. Mm, never I don't know. Custy Gibson, Martin and a Fender. A classical guitar as well. <laughs> well nice repertoire actually. You don't have any Ibanez Ibanez. How do you pronounce it in English properly? Ibanez. <laughs> Some of the best electric guitar players use Ivan and Steve by Joseph Triani. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was just saying that when you to you you just send the message. Um, I also I, I also like them because of the type of thin um, fretboard. I myself had uh, Yamaha, not uh, not anything uh, fancy, but it had more how to say more emotional meaning because of you know where it came from and everything and I really like the the head very much but um yeah cool there was a um, pianist in my conservatory when I was studying he didn't know how to play guitar nothing 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 at all but he had um the collectionist, uh, let's say, Gibson guitars, like with original, you know, signatures and all this kind of stuff. And I think he had maybe at home something worth like surely over the 10,000 on, on these guitars. I think surely like well over that just with these guitars. And I was like, well, what do you do with these guitars? Nothing. They're just in my wall. They're just nice. <laughs> I was like, oh wow, some people would just die to play with these guitars. 
and he didn't even know how to play guitar like nothing Exactly, work in progress, just practice while I practice, we support each other and you'll get you'll get there. It just takes time. Um, um the fun part is selling to those who want to play them more than me. <laughs> I found that one tip that fits me and selling the others. Yeah, I mean if you, actually it's that very nice that you have so many guitars to try. I mean I wish Classical guitars would be so cheap to <laughs> to just buy and sell in a way. They're so costly. The ones you commit to one, it's uh, except very few players. The other ones, we are not going around that much really, buying like a million guitars. <laughs> but it's nice though the the feeling of trying new instruments, new approaches, and I think it's somewhat it's inspiring actually. So I can understand perfectly your addiction. If I would be <laughs> rich, I would probably also get some other guitars just to to have some, I don't know, some new new input. Um, so many of those I have listed are actually on the chopping block. <laughs> when I found out that they were making a sound of voice, I stopped. <laughs> nice. No, no, I know you're not probably rich by any means, but electric guitars are a lot more affordable. I mean, classical guitars, concert guitars, I mean, eh? not not the ones of that sell for 300, but concert guitars are like uh, at least 6,000 every time, 8,000 sometimes. And if you go to America, a lot more. So it's not an expense that you want to have, like even twice per year. It's like a lot. <laughs> but I get the fun. I totally understand the fun. I have 10. Oh, Evil says he has 10. Not bad. So he's on the ranking. We should make a, a, a ranking of who has the most guitars here in the audience. <laughs> you guys win me for like by far. Like really by far. Um, he says I have 10. My Ibanez Steve by Jam. Oh no, you have the Jam. Oh, I always wanted to try that. I was like so close to just buy one just for the sake of having it because I find it so beautiful. <laughs> As the watchboard in the Jackson. Jackson, hmm. Never played that in those ones. Martin and the classical, which is my go-to guitar. <laughs> Steph Ams and tons of effects, but I love the classical the most. Interesting. You know, like I can't, um, I'm a classical guitar player, but I just can't choose between like guitars when they are electrical and classical just because they are so 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 different. So I I couldn't choose. I like also very much the aesthetic of some electric guitars and everything and it's just a completely different world so it's uh, exciting. Um of course there's something that you said about getting the most out of that one instrument that struck me. Yes, I, I do think like it's um I don't know at which point you are um, in your playing, but I think if you see like um, big guitar players, right? I mean, yeah, just take uh, Satriani, Petrucci, Steve Vai, and all this. Eventually, they all find their their instrument. It's maybe not the best because I don't think there is the best in, in this kind of things. It's just the one that fits you, and uh, it's important to be able to develop this deep knowledge on how the, re and the guitar reacts, how you feel it and and eventually when you get so used to it that it works a lot in your favor technically as well. But that doesn't mean that you have to sell everything. <laughs> I mean, if you like to have them, uh, God, please keep them so that you can not have your house completely empty. <laughs> it would feel bad for you now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Evel says, gems play great. Oh my, don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. Maybe one day I'll just... That, this could be one of the things that I just buy for the sake of buying. I never, ever, ever do that. Like, I don't like to buy for just having stuff unless I'm going to use it or I need it. But, oh my God, this is kind of a temptation. <laughs> Britwosa Drew says, Cremona is an excellent and expensive classical guitar for those who can afford the concert level. Yes, very true, very true. Nice that you write it here. Okay, guys, I think um, I will be 
going maybe to eat something otherwise i will pass out and i'm a person of <laughs> low pressure so if i don't eat might be that if i be here like this <laughs> no i'm joking <laughs> don't get scared but i do get a bit dizzy if i if i don't um, eat for that that many hours and um and i naturally when i start practicing i, I do kind of uh, involuntary um how is it called intermittent fasting <laughs> <laughs> don't pass out no 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 i won't pass out don't worry <laughs> eva says you can buy one of the gems just for the looks yes i liked um even this floral one just because it was like weird but it's eh, just a uh, you know the old school gem you know it's like nice and the funny thing is that in the beginning i think most of us think oh this handle this strange thing of the handle kind of looks weird but then you get to love it. At least that's how it happened to me. <laughs> and um, I also loved it uh, because I discovered a French player a long time ago. You remember when, guys, when the, the, canon, uh, the canon Rock was like super, super trendy on YouTube and everybody was doing like versions of it. So I discovered a French player called Matt and um, he he made his own arrangement that was not the one that everybody played, which was from, from who was, from a Japanese guy, I think. I don't remember the name. So he made his own arrangement, which I liked even more. And he played with the gem. And I was like, wow, that's just so cool. And he used the, you know, the whammy bar, the tremolo bar, like with such funny effects. It was really nice. And from then I was like struck. Like this guitar is just super cool. And also because the, the electric guitar I have, it doesn't have this, you know, floating um, bridge, so, which allows for a lot less. But um, yeah, so cool. Anyways, funny stories, funny stories. Um, so thank you guys for joining. And maybe, maybe tonight I might do uh, another stream or something. I don't know. I'll see if I can manage to finish some a good amount of work that I have uh, pending and if I do maybe I can I can do a bit more of stream tonight otherwise surely tomorrow like we can see each other Esther says gems remind me of those boxing <laughs> irons <laughs> I don't know why <laughs> but you can probably <laughs> pick them up like that is so true <laughs> It's so true. <laughs> Steve, I did a collaboration with Sharon Eastman. Yeah, I know. I have seen that. <laughs> I have seen that. Um, have a nice day. Thank you, guys. Uh, I will say thank, uh, take care, Marcel. Thank you. And, and take care, dear. I have a floral one. <laughs> uh, we'll have a very floral one because all the rain we get here, I tell you, we have lots of flowers going on. <laughs> uh, I wish you guys a lovely day. And um, please eat, practice, and I hope you the work goes all well. And I'll see you maybe later today or tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, guys.